Say, kids, would you like to hear a story? Because we've got a really good one for you. Seriously, you're going to love it. It's a classic rags to riches tale about one man's rise from humble beginnings to become one of history's greatest and most visionary toy makers. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe it's about a company that literally came from nothing, whose origins are still shrouded in mystery. Maybe it's about a woman breaking the glass ceiling to take over the toy company left to her by her eccentric father. Maybe it's about all of these things. But the one thing we can tell you about the story of Dr. Wondertainment is that every word of it is true. Or at least as far as anything is true in the weird wonderful world of the SCP Foundation. As long as you believe, we'll all have a wonderful time. As long as you believe, nothing can hurt you. Not in the fabulous world of Dr. Wondertainment. Dr. Wondertainment is the name given to SCP-001, who, due to his relatively benign nature, has been classified as safe by the Foundation. Rather than focusing on containing Wondertainment himself, the SCP Foundation has centered its efforts on containing the products that he creates. He is a Class I reality warper, capable of constructing otherwise normal objects and imbuing them with anomalous properties. He's become infamous for using this ability to create bizarre, magical, and potentially dangerous toys and games that are distributed by as yet unknown means. Many of Wondertainment's toys are in the Foundation's possession, such as SCP-445, origami paper that takes on properties of whatever it's folded to look like, and SCP-3147, lollipops that allow people to switch voices with each other. Dr. Wondertainment was born into a family of humble means. His mother was a seamstress and his father was an accountant. Unsatisfied with his mundane life, Wondertainment's only joy growing up was in the stories that his father would tell him about an ancestor of his who was once a famous toy maker. Inspired by these stories, Wondertainment developed an interest in crafting toys, and as an adult set out to learn the secrets he would need to create toys unlike anything the world had ever seen. He spent his life following rumors of magical artifacts and enchanted trinkets until his search brought him to a mysterious factory. If you've seen our previous videos on SCP-001 proposals, you can probably guess that this factory was THE factory. The mysterious place where new SCPs are supposedly created. Wondertainment barely escaped the massacre and the Foundation takeover of the factory with his life but he was able to find a variety of notes that he took with him. These notes contained clues that led him to the workshop of his famous toy maker ancestor, and from there, he reclaimed his birthright. That was the day that he truly became Dr. Wondertainment. It's a fun story, isn't it? Very straightforward, but perhaps it is a little underwhelming for an SCP-001 proposal. After all, SCP-001 is the collective designation given to some of the most important anomalies of all time, including many that could have potentially been involved in the Foundation's very founding. Hmm, let's start again. Reginald Filbert Lionel Archibald Westinghouse Wondertainment III is the name given to SCP-001, who, due to his highly unpredictable nature, has been classed as Euclid by the Foundation, and he is to be detained as soon as his location can be... ascertained. Until he can be captured, the SCP Foundation has focused its efforts on containing the products that he creates. He is a Class II reality warper, capable of constructing otherwise normal objects and imbuing them with anomalous properties. He's become infamous for using this ability to create bizarre, magical, and potentially dangerous toys, games, candy, soft drinks, and other products aimed at children and young teens. These products are distributed by as yet unknown means. Many of Wondertainment's creations are in Foundation possession, such as the often imitated but never matched Little Mister's Collection, which are a group of living collectibles with unique anomalous properties. Due to Wondertainment's reality warping abilities, it is impossible to pin down concrete information about his history. What we can tell you for sure is that he's immortal and ageless and comes from a long line of Wondertainment stretching all the way back to the Cretaceous period, where they made all sorts of toys for the good little dinosaur children. 
It's also widely known that he is in fact not a real person, but merely the manifestation of the dreams of every child on Earth, brought forth solely by the power of imagination. No confirmed sightings of Dr. Wondertainment have ever occurred, but witnesses have described him as dashing, very handsome for his age, and a lovely chap capable of creating whimsy and wonder with the snap of his fingers. He's a tall man about the height of a piece of string, and he's immediately recognizable by his walking stick and W-shaped mustache. It's also been reported that he has scarring around the circumference of both wrists, almost as if his hands have been removed and reattached at some point. However, the truth of the matter is that... Hmm, no, no, we're telling it all wrong again. This doesn't do anything to capture the scope of the Wondertainment story. It needs to feel... bigger. More... comprehensive. Let's try it again. Dr. Wondertainment is a trademark of the Wondertainment Toy Company, the name given to SCP-001 a corporation that, due to its consistent output of anomalous items, is classed by the Foundation as Keter. Until this company can be permanently shut down, the SCP Foundation has focused its efforts on containing the products that it creates. The collective power of the company's constituent employees and the technology they make use are equivalent to that of a Class III reality warper. The Wondertainment Company produces and sells a range of products, ranging from the seemingly normal to the downright weird all imbued with anomalous properties. The company has become infamous for their constant output of bizarre, magical, and potentially dangerous toys, games, candy, soft drinks, and other products aimed at children, teens, and young-at-heart adults. These products are made and distributed from Wonderworld, trademark, a location that is yet unknown to the Foundation but offers factory tours every hour from Tuesday to Friday. Many of Wondertainment's creations are in Foundation possession, such as Wondertainment's famous dragon snails, the real fire-breathing pet you can keep in your pocket. Not much is known about the inner workings of the Wondertainment company. The SCP Foundation has no information currently on the company's leadership structure, location, history, or corporate policies. Various former and current employees have been interviewed regarding their experiences working for Wondertainment, but they never seem to be able to remember very much of use. Those interviewed variously described the Wondertainment Company as a regular office building, an immense toy factory, an amusement park, but all agree it's the best place they ever worked. In fact, you should apply for a job there! We, I, I mean, they have a few openings in their legal department. Or so I've heard. Oh, silly me, it seems we've gotten off topic. You're here to hear about the SCP-001 proposal. Posting a job ad wasn't what I meant to do when I hacked into... <laughs> I mean, well, don't worry about that. Forget I said a thing. Now let's try this again. But this time, we'll add a twist. Isabel Helga Anastasia Parvati Wondertainment V is the name given to SCP-001, who, due to her ability to spread sunshine and whimsy wherever she goes, has been classed as Thaumiel by the Foundation. And due to her immensely unpredictable nature, the SCP Foundation has resolved to just leave her be. Because she can't be captured, the SCP Foundation has focused its efforts on containing the products that she creates. She is a Class IV reality warper, capable of constructing wonderful, fantastic objects and imbuing them with anomalous properties. She's famous and widely beloved for using this ability to create bizarre, magical, and not even a little bit dangerous toys, games, candy, soft drinks, and other products aimed at everyone from ages 9 to 99. These products are distributed by, as yet, unknown means. Many of Wondertainment's creations are in Foundation possession, such as SCP-3551, the awesome inflatable alien invaders, and SCP-2514, a lovely horse who can sing Happy Birthday. <laughs> How grand. Wondertainment inherited the Wondertainment name from her father, who either passed away or never existed at all. The circumstances of his death and perhaps non-existence were very messy, involving a mass murderer, the leader of a shadowy international extra-governmental paramilitary organization, at least one deity, and four bent paperclips. She owns six corgis, and all of them are named Jeremy. In her free time, she likes to... <sighs> no. No, this is all still wrong. All right. Enough is enough. You want to know who Dr. Wondertainment really is? Well, you asked for it. Dr. Wondertainment is the name given to SCP-001, 
who due to his deity level power has been classed as Apollyon by the Foundation. There is no possible way to contain him. He is a class 5 reality warper, capable of breaking down and reconstructing the very laws of reality. Did you really think that those little trinkets were the full extent of my... I mean, his creations? Did you truly think of him as such a small, petty creature? Dr. Wondertainment is no mere toy smith. No, he is a god. Want examples of his creations? Just look around you. Everything from the most innocent safe class to the most harrowing Keter class, it's all thanks to him. He is behind everything. Marshall Carter and Dark, the Sarkists, the Church of the Broken God, even the Scarlet King himself. All that time, all that effort, all it came down to was one entity. One singular living personification of chaos. One day the SCP Foundation will finally give up trying to find out how he distributes his products. When they will finally see how small and worthless their attempts to restore order really are. And they will be driven before his power! They will crumble and decay into nothingness! You will bow before Dr. Wondertainment! <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Had you going for a second there, didn't we? You should have seen the looks on your faces. But let's start again, one more time. We're being serious this time. Mask off, here's the true story of Dr. Wondertainment. Dr. Wondertainment is the name given to SCP-001, who due to his relatively benign nature has been classed as neutralized by the Foundation. Rather than focusing on containing Wondertainment himself, the SCP Foundation has focused its efforts on containing the products that he creates. He is a reality warper whose limits have yet to be documented, capable of constructing otherwise normal objects and imbuing them with anomalous properties. He's become infamous for using this ability to create bizarre, magical, and potentially dangerous toys and games that are distributed by as yet unknown means. Due to his secretive nature, almost nothing is known of Dr. Wondertainment's true origins, and the waters have been muddied extensively by the side effects of his reality warping ability. In fact, it's entirely possible that Dr. Wondertainment himself doesn't know who he is anymore. It's possible that all the proposed origins and descriptions of Dr. Wondertainment are true in their own way, but it is equally possible that none of them are. All that's known for sure is that Dr. Wondertainment, be they male or female, corporation or single individual, is a constant thorn in the SCP Foundation's side. No matter who they really are, they're not going away soon, and only time will tell who they'll be tomorrow or what further horrors they and their company will create. And that's where our story will have to come to an end, at least for now. We hope you enjoyed it, and remember, keep believing.